So that was a nice sell, and I want to say I paid $25 for this, and this one sold for $71 plus shipping. What's going on YouTube? It's the Veteran Flipper here, coming at you with another video. So in this video, I had a few sales from uh, some of my finds from the flea market and from the uh, Rare Beer Signs um, video, if you haven't seen that. And um, yeah, pull a couple orders, show you guys what sold. All right, so getting right into it, I sold, yeah, it was this Toshiba right here. Got this at the flea market. I want to say this past Thursday. I uh, paid $15 for this, and this one sold for $71 plus shipping. Got a couple scratches on it, otherwise I would have probably won for like 80 or 90 but I was more than happy to take $71. Yeah, so actually before I came uh, to the storage unit, I actually met up with someone to sell a bunch of like Hawthorne Village, Linux stuff. Someone that actually worked, or not worked, <laughs> one of the vendors that actually sells at the flea market. Came and bought like a bunch of like Hawthorne Village, Linux pieces, and stuff like that that I wouldn't sell on. It's not like they're necessarily bad items, they're just... Items that I wouldn't sell on my eBay store. I got like no money into them. Typically, um, stuff like that. Those are the items that I normally sell on Facebook Marketplace or yard sales. And someone came and bought a bunch of stuff and a couple of like, Disney pieces too. And it made a hundred dollars cash this morning. So you got to be unique on how you move inventory. You know, I have like my main stuff that I try to sell on eBay, Macari, uh, etc. And then I have stuff that I try to sell on Facebook. Sometimes even Craigslist, if I can target um, like older, older, um, you know, the older generation. But with that being said, the next two items we got going out are from the rare beer signs. Okay, and they are actually up in this box up here. It's where I decided to put all the beer signs. And the, one of them is this Paps Spinning beer sign right here and this sold for two hundred and ten dollars plus shipping so that was a nice sell and i want to say i paid 25 dollars for it i'll put it right here on the screen i want to say it was 25 dollars and then in the same box i also sold two of these budweiser plaque signs right here and these sold together for 35 dollars free shipping i want to say free shipping very light Real quick, I did just want to throw this in here uh, into the video. I get all my boxes for free at the Dollar General, and all of these are like really nice condition. There's nothing wrong with them. Maybe I got to pull like some stickers and labels off. I got a bunch of small boxes here, a couple medium boxes here, and then down towards the bottom, I got a bunch of large boxes there. Maybe consider not paying for stuff that you don't need to pay for. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's worth it. Hey, real quick, I want to say thank you to everyone that has recently subscribed. I appreciate the support and everyone that drops a like and everyone that, um, that comments on, on the videos or reply to every single comment. So I appreciate the support. With that being said, the next two sales are going on are actually both right next to each other. This Corvette right here sold for $20 plus shipping. And let's move that out of the way. And this, um, what is this? Studbecker Golden Hawk. Oh, got that turned the wrong way. This right here sold for also $20 plus shipping. And I got $5 into each of these. So not the best sell, but not the worst sell either. <laughs> I actually noticed what was right next to it was this Burton uh, chair. If you've seen the flea market video, very interesting. This chair is like $200. And I was completely dumbfounded that I got this for five bucks. <laughs> That's still for sale. All right, and the next thing I got going out is actually in my pens box, where I like to put all my pens. A good chunk of these pens I actually got from a, um, from one of the storage unit, one of the last storage unit buys that I got. And um, these pens were just completely, definitely an add-on. And it is, I wanna say it's this pen right here. This one, this is kind of rare. This one sold for $20, free shipping. So a nice little sale. All right, well, I'm putting that box back. I'm gonna throw up a couple sold comps on the screen because I'm not gonna go through every single thing that sold. 
So I'll throw up some soul comps in the background. But um, this next item that sold right here was extremely, well, I want to call it extremely speculative. But it was speculative. And with that being said, it is right here. All right, so I bought this steamer right here at the Goodwill. I paid $20 for this at the Goodwill. And it is a, let's see here. What is that? It's a Euroflex steam station and i paid twenty dollars for this i this, i bought this because there was no soul comps on it but there was an active listing for like 130 dollars to 160 dollars um plus shipping and yes as we all know you know you shouldn't buy stuff based on active listings you should only buy stuff based on soul comps but the soul comp was high enough high enough plus I want to say that there was a couple watchers on it, so I feel like the desirability was there. And to pick that up for 20 bucks with the chance to possibly even sell it for way less than that person was asking, I feel like it was worth the purchase. And this actually ended up, I originally priced mine at like 100 bucks or something like that, and I ended up taking an offer on it for $54 plus shipping. So after fees and everything, I'm going to double my money. And I would like to know, what do you guys think about that? Would you guys make a purchase like that? I mean, if you, well, obviously, if you sell stuff like this, or would you have just left it? Let me know in the comments. All right, and I'm just going to pull two more orders. Um, so I sold two records. I sold this one right here. It's already kind of weirdly sticking out. And then I also sold um this record right here so this one right here wasn't the best sell this one i think only sold for like 13 or 14 dollars the disney one and then this one right here sold for 32 dollars both free shipping um but still though so my deal with records i typically get records very cheap you know i don't like paying up for records like if i can buy a huge bundle for like 10 or 20 bucks i'll buy them I'll pull the ones that are worth selling on my eBay store and then the rest I bundle up and I'll sell for like 40, 50 bucks and it works extremely well. So even though I don't have too many records for sale on eBay, the majority of them I sell in bulk and I actually do like pretty well on records. Um, like I said, try to expand the way that you sell, you know, don't just stick to online you know, if you can still move some other stuff locally, then by all means do it. And then the people that only sell locally, maybe try selling online because I had a guy that just came and bought all this stuff off of me and is like, oh no, that online stuff is crap and I don't want to worry about paying taxes. And it's like, realistically, if you're selling locally, you're still supposed to pay taxes. So I'm not going to tell you guys what to do. Um, I'm just going to tell you um, what makes sense to me. So I hope you guys got something from the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.